Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is work in progress Wednesday and we've of course got a ton of works in progress. Hello everyone. How are you today? Hello Dawn. Hello Davissa. Hello Kelly. Good lurk away my dear. Hello uh, Yvonne. Hello Caitlin. Hello Terry Lynn. I hope everyone is doing very, very well. I would like to uh, thank the wonderful person, the wonderful person that uh, joined our memberships and became a unicorn o over the past couple of days. It told me so this morning, so thank you. So we are working in Santa's Christmas first because we've just got a quick little sky to do and then we'll move on to the Christmas magic and continue to work on our nutcrackers. Oh, my hands are cold today. Coffee. Needed more coffee. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good thing to know, Terry Lynn. It's always good when the eye exam goes well. So this is where we've gotten so far. We've just got the sky left to do. And then this picture is all done. I know it doesn't look like it is, but it is, I promise. Hi Deb. Welcome, welcome. Hello all the lurkers out there. I appreciate you being here. Hopefully you can all hear me just fine. I'm not yelling at you or anything because <laughs> that would not be good. So we are going to do the sky with the King Art gel sticks. So I've got four different colors here that we're going to use on this sky. <laughs> well yes, it, for you that's like almost bedtime. It's you know actually past bedtime. You should be in bed. Oh, well, thank you so much for for supporting her. She's such a wonderful person. For some reason, um, YouTube likes to tell me that she's gone live four hours after she's not live anymore. <sighs> yes, your favorite mediums for backgrounds. If, if you guys didn't know, Davis is the one that taught me how to use these. And it's all her fault. <laughs> We're just going to blame her. I've got my palette here. I'm just going to put down the dark gray first. Just putting down a good supply of it there. I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> So I'm just going to take my little brush here and I'm just taking this small one and filling it up with a good good amount of the gray. I'm making sure that I break up any chunks so that we don't get any streaks. We're going to put the palette to the side here. And then we're just going to go in to the darkest areas. If you find that you have chunks, wipe them off, break them up, and put them back into your your areas there. And I'm just going into the deepest, darkest areas with this dark gray. As I get closer to the light areas, I'm just feathering it out and smoothing it out. OK. 
Okay, let's pick up a little bit more. I'm using this, the smaller brush for this area because it's really up close to the edge and I don't want to go too far over the edge. Now you're probably sitting there going, well why would I bother this guy's already done? Well just to darken it up and make it look good. <laughs> That's why. It gives it good depth. Good to know. I have an eye doctor's appointment on Monday. I don't want to. I know I'm going to need new glasses and I don't want to. <laughs> Alright, just loading it up again and moving into the corner here and just spreading it out. Rotating in little circles with my brush. You can use any kind of brush for this. You can use a small makeup brush, which is what I'm using. You can use an eyeshadow applicator. Uh, you can use your finger. <laughs> you can pretty much use anything you want to do this as long as it w gives you a good even application. Hi Jennifer! Welcome, welcome. You're not late. I was early. Now I'm leaving this area here open because it's a little bit lighter. So we're going to leave that open. And we're going to add a different color of gray to it. And this gives you depth into your your uh, clouds. Brings things closer and further away gives you more of a natural cloud effect. I'm not worried about the snowflakes because we will go be going over those with a gel pen to make them stand out more. <laughs> yes, their clock is accurate. <laughs> okay, almost done with the dark gray. I'm just going to get this last little bit on here. Up around this tree. I think that's a good amount there. Now we're going to take a piece of paper here and I'm just going to cover it down there and I'm just going to wipe off any excess. Make sure that all my brushes, that my brushes cleaned up a little bit. Nope, that does not constitute as being late. So now I'm going to add a color that you're probably going to sit there going, why is she adding that color? Which is light purple. So this is called smoke. And it's uh, it will give the sky a little bit of daylight kind of color because they're in the daytime, but because it's snowing, it's still dark and gloomy and gray. But you still want to have a bit of that daytime color. Hi, Wickabella. 
Uh, Wikibella, I sent you a message on Facebook. So if you uh, have checked your messages, check your um, um, hidden messages or me message requests. That's the one. Because I have sent you a message on Facebook. Okay, and then we're just going to add a little bit of this purple in here into some of the light areas and build it into that gray. These are the uh, King Art gel sticks. Which are currently on sale just in case you didn't know. Hi Deb! Ooh, lurk in color. You're allowed to lurk in color. Absolutely. We prefer you lurk in color. Because then you're relaxed and comfortable. So I'm just putting in this purple into some of the lighter areas, dragging it a little bit into the dark gray. It gives it a little bit of a bluey color into the sky even though it's a light purple. Yuck. Standstill traffic is not fun. All right, just coming down into the trees with it. sure that that's all out of there. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. I, I understand that completely, Jennifer. Oh, well, that's good. As long as we're good entertainment, because we like you. Alright, so I've got the, uh, let's see what color is this, cool gray, which is a, a really light gray. I filled my palette, and as you can probably tell, I use this gray a lot. <laughs> yes, Devisa is my enabler when it comes to using gel sticks and crayons. Um, the pastel set, the 24 pastel set of these, uh, is on sale right now for 44% off. The 48 set is on sale for 9% off. In case you were wondering. <laughs> Alright, so now we're just going to go in and we're just going to add some of this cool gray into the mix. I'm not worried about uh, whether or not it's too dark because we will be going over it with some white. So I'm not too concerned about how dark it's looking quite yet. If you get little streaks, just go over it and blend it in. If it gets too much little streaks and you don't like the way it's streaking, you can take an eraser to that streak and remove it.
yeah, the pastel set is really pretty. And of course they do have a 72 set where all of them are together in one. But of course I didn't buy them that way because, yeah, I didn't know of it. <laughs> I didn't know it existed until after I'd bought mine, so. All right, now the final step before we put the, the snow back in. Yes, King Art Gel Sticks. I do believe if you hit exclamation King Art, it should come up, but I'm not positive on that. And you're in the car anyway, so you can't even do that. So. No, no shopping and driving at the same time. <laughs> Just don't do it. Okay, so I'm using white now. I'm getting a good layer of it on the palette. And I'm going to take my bigger brush and load it up. And I'm tr going to get as much of this white on the, the brush as possible, which hmm, I cleaned the palette. <laughs> and then we're going to go in and we're going to soften up some of those edges. Dragging it towards that center area that was the lightest area in the picture. And down here, where it's the lightest area of the picture. Just dragging it all together using the white, the same way you would use a white colored pencil. You know, just to knock down that, that color a little bit and blend it together. Ah, she's home now. No, okay, so I'll take a look at it and see. I'll see what I put for it. I may have changed it or put something else for it. <laughs> no, actually, uh, if you leave this sit for about 24 hours, it dries and it doesn't smudge. It, it cures, I should say. Okay, so I'm using the Um, Arteza number one gel pen to do the snow. And I'm just putting all the snow drops back in. right on top of the gel crayon. Hi Marie, welcome, welcome. Hi Katrina, if I didn't see you and say hello. Ah, there you are, hi. <laughs> My head was down looking at the page, making sure I wasn't dragging my hand across gel stick and stuff like that. I'm just going to go over some of the uh, snow on the arms and the edges of his hat. Make sure that you get all the snowflakes in there as well. Okay. 
anywhere that you may have removed a, the snowflake with the sky and the uh, other coloring, put it back in. Try to keep it as random as possible. Well, thank you, Marie. I appreciate that. Just putting all those snowflakes back into place. Hopefully it makes sense where I'm putting the snowflakes. <laughs> And then we've got a bunch of snow coming up off of the back of the sled here as well. <laughs> yes, yes, you can use gel pens for that. And if you use a, a glittery gel pen, it, it uh, sp sparkles quite nicely. A few more snowdrops here that we covered up while doing the coloring. Okay, and this one here, is there any more? I think that's it. We'll just put one there anyway. <laughs> oh, and we gotta do his the whites of his eyes there, and little whites of his buttons, and the whites of his eye, and this one. Okay. And there we have our snowman. So that one is all finished. What do you guys think? Uh... Okay, what did I miss? <laughs> what is DG? What did I miss? Okay, I'm not sure what DG is. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Dollar General. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the Dollar General we have here in Jefferson is uh, really, really tiny and um, doesn't have very good coloring stuff in it. It's really small. So there is that one all done. I know it doesn't look like there's a lot of coloring on it <laughs> because it's a lot of white, um, but there there is actually quite a bit of coloring on it. I even finished the kids. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get to it, but I did finish them. Yeah, yeah, mine's, mine's really small. We have one. <laughs> and it's really small. All right, so I'm going to put this aside because I don't want to close it yet until it's had time to cure. And move aside all these wonderful things. Put them over there. Put them over there because I gotta wash them now. And now ha ha. So we are doing a picture in here, if I can find it. Hi, Joyce. Oh, I'm sorry. Cold does that to me, too. Makes my knees ache. Oh, OK. Well, if they come out with a new line and send them out here, then I will be sure to look at them because, you know, nothing nothing worse than not being in the loop on that. <laughs> okay, Wicca. Don't get in the wreck. All right, I got to stand up and adjust myself because, like I said, it gets into my knees and I sit with one leg under me because I'm so short I can't reach the floor. <laughs> Even in my own chair, it, it gets uncomfortable. So I finished the first one. I've still got some work to do on his base, but we'll get to that. So I have a secret. I don't know if you guys want to know the secret. Do you guys want to know the secret? I have a special guest coming to visit the channel on Monday. So Monday at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be having a live stream. I know it's not my normal time to live stream and it will be a short one. It'll only be about an hour long, but I will be having a special guest and I will be doing a giveaway. And that's all I'm going to tell you about the secret. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with a Falathio blue and on this fella here, we're going to do him in blues. It's only going to be about an hour long because I have an eye doctor's appointment, so I had to cut it shorter than normal because I couldn't get out of the eye doctor's appointment without, you know, not being able to see the eye doctor for another six months. So, unfortunately, the glaucoma wins. <laughs> Yes, it is Santa. <laughs> I'm going to switch over to the close-up here so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm just going around the edges with the darker blue and feathering it out into the object. Now you gotta remember that this is painted, 
as I said the last time there's not really much of a shadow beyond what the person that built this put in so technically there's not really going to be any shadow beyond this area here and this area here because of the lighting in the room there will always be a shadow from the fringe and um, just a quick reminder on the 18th we're going to have a little bit of a Christmas party so I will be doing a couple of big giveaways for Christmas. Not as big as I did last year but some pretty big giveaways because I gave away everything already. <laughs> I keep on buying things for the for the Christmas giveaway and then using them for giveaways. <laughs> but that's okay. I like giving things away. It's fun. And I'm going down his pant legs here as well. Although this is probably his legs. I probably shouldn't be doing that one. Um, let's erase that part. This part here I think is his leg. I think he's wearing short pants. So the blue will work as a shadow. I'm just going to erase it and deaden it a little bit. So we'll leave it leave it on there a little bit, but we're going to erase it a little touch. So All right. Let's do the other side. And his arm here. I think there that's it yes and then we're going to use this one so this one is middle phalatheal blue that one was phalatheal blue I am still using the um, Faber polys the Faber Castell polychromos and once again with them being an oil based pencil I am lightly layering this into each other covering up that white spot bringing that middle color out to where we're going to have the light hit then we'll go in with a lighter color as well to blend it all together blend you say blend so I think um, let's take a look here make sure I get the right color uh, light phalatheal blue where is that that's light ultramarine mm -hmm. I guess this one go figure <laughs> it would be the one that's after the middle phalatheal blue hmm I think maybe I put these in arrangement or something
Yes, they are. Actually, um, I saw, is it the 50 um, pastel and neons? I, I watched um, uh, the Coloring Diva swatch them today and they look very much like the uh, the ones in the set that I have. And just in case you, you didn't know, the 520 set is on sale. On Amazon for less than $100. Oh, okay. Okay, so yours is different. I'll have to look at it. Oh, Yvonne, thank you. Can we get some exclamation point love in the chat for Yvonne? Let's see if I can actually get it to type. Or some handy dandy emotes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Yvonne. I was surprised to see the uh, Brute Funer 520 down below a hundred dollars again. On Amazon. Hi Lori, lurk away dear. Lurk away. Don't mind lurkers. I lurk all the time. Uh, the one, the 520s, if you go to my um, deals of the day, it should be uh, list at the top of the list. Oh, there is plenty of, of the pastels in the 520 set. She said that she has the pastels, but not the 520 set. Here, I'll grab that for you here. Just one second. There's a link to the uh, 520 set. 
the pencils I'm using are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. <laughs> yeah, I got them when they were 96. When they first hit Amazon, I got them. Yeah, I like the polychromos. The polychromos and the uh, Mitsubishi Uni uh, were my first sets of artist grade colored pencils. Yeah. <laughs> the one that has them on sale for ninety nine is one of the ones that was first brought them to Amazon and then jacked the price right up after they started getting popular. So their manufacturer retail price is, is off a little, <laughs> their suggested price. Although that's pretty much what they're going for on Ally Express nowadays too. So. Yeah, I, I splurged. You guys will see tomorrow. I splurged for Black Friday. I need to get the Derwent, the rest of the light fast. I, I have a few, but I don't have them all. They're on my wish list, so maybe I'll get them for Christmas. <laughs> I like the five twenties. I, I, you know, people say that's crazy, and you know, I just love the way they look. I love the laydown of them. I. I've always really enjoyed the Brute Funer product, so Brute Funers is one of the first oil-based pencil, inexpensive oil-based pencils that I ever had, so. All right, now we're gonna do inside of his thigh here. underneath of his coat. Yes, that is awesome, yeah.
my very first set of prismas I won and I wasn't fond of the way they the way that I cut was coloring with them the, you know everything I did I just didn't like it so I gave them to my mom <laughs> because she just waves those things around and like magic beautiful things appear so <laughs> I figured they were meant for her I have since started using them better I'm not great with them but I have started using them better but my mom just waves those things around and it just beauty appears I swear she has the the prismacolor gods in her pocket Oh yes, absolutely, Jennifer. Once you once you start getting used to the polys, and and using the polys, definitely start playing with your your oil based pencils, your your brute squares and stuff like that. I know they are. Prismacolors are most people's go to because they're very. Uh, from what I hear, very easy to use uh, and to blend together and get the the seamless edges on everything. Where sometimes with oil pencils you can have a hard time getting that seam to disappear between the light, dark, and mediums. Nice, Lori. I like the brute feeder squares. But most of my pencils are oil based. I have a thing about oil based pencils. Now I've collected all of the oil-based pencils in the world. I need to start looking for all of the wax-based pencils and learn how to use them. Some, I think, uh, you know, after purchasing them and playing with them for a while, some, I think, would be better off used for light and fires, but, you know... <laughs> candles you know <laughs> keep them handy for for lighting candles yeah oh Terry Lynn seven months already I am so glad that you're still having fun congratulations and thank you so much for supporting me for so long I know it's been an an odd year it just keeps going by so quick My goodness. Let's all get an exclamation point awesome in the chat for Terry Lynn. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just going over everything back and forth between the, the medium and the light palatial blues and just blending things together, combining that seam and eliminating that really uh, heavy edging on the seams. Getting rid of all that wonderful white spot because we don't want white spot because this is paint. 
so we're not going to see unlike fabric we're not going to see that white spot is a good thing you know it's just going to look like there's bits me bits of paint flecked off and we don't want that we want it to look nice and pretty I know, isn't that crazy? In March, it would have been a year that I got 1,000 subscribers and monetization. Isn't that crazy? This year has gone by so quick. darkening up some areas that I need to be dark. And there we have it. Alright, so there we have his pants and his jacket. Now we're going to do the inside of his jacket there with the golds. So I'm going to grab the metallic gold, but I'm also going to grab the green gold. So I'm going to per put a layer of this green gold down first because I want it to show through that metallic gold. And if I put down the metallic gold first, this green gold isn't going to show through. I put it down first, the metallic gold down first. You will. If uh, if you haven't been to Yvonne's channel, um, make sure you go over there and, and share the love with her. Uh, she is a wonderful, wonderful lady. Uh, she does a lot of her uploads in uh, German. I don't know because every time the YouTube tells me. <laughs> It's after it's already uploaded, so I'm able to use the uh, translator. I don't know if the translator is on during her, her live streams. But every time I get told that she's live streaming, she's already finished. So, And it's uh, finished uploading, so I just use the translator. She does talk in English, though. go in and watch the one from today. It didn't tell me it, that it was even ex in existence and, until I was about ready to go on. And it's like, yeah, I'll go watch it later because I can't do it now. So as you can see with the metallic gold, it works as a shadower where you can just add that green gold to it as well and it brightens it up and it gives you that that golden look. Absolutely.
Oh, um, at the bottom of the screen, um, there should be a little dial that you can uh, do the translator. And you select English and it'll translate it, everything into English. Yes, yeah, she is from the future. And she is in Germany, so to her it's like almost tomorrow <laughs> right now. <laughs> and if you don't know what her channel is or want to go see her channel, just do exclamation point Yvonne Y V O N N E in the uh chat and it will give you her YouTube address. Unless Nightbot's being lazy. Yvonne, I might have to come onto your channel and do a tutorial on how to turn the translator on. <laughs> I don't know if it's active while it's live. I do know, because I have yet to be able to catch her live. But I do know that in the recorded there's a translator. I'm pretty sure that Yvonne's turned it on though, if I remember right. I encouraged her to, to start up her channel and helped her get it all started so I have enabled <laughs> I have been the YouTube enabler <laughs> not a problem at all there should be a little uh, cog um, at the bottom of the video that you're trying to translate. Um, the same area where you would speed the video up at. You can have it translate from German to English. Closed captioning or whatever it's called. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm always enabling. Just when it's when it's a good idea. I only enable when it's a good idea. If I don't like a product, I won't tell you to buy it, I promise. I I will not tell you not to buy it, but I won't tell you to buy it because everybody likes things differently. You know, something I don't like, somebody else may like. So I try not to force my my dislikes on people. All right, 
now we're going to take the copper and we're going to do this area here. Say hello to the choo-choo. Do this area here in copper. I'm going to sharpen this. So the one thing I don't like about the Faber Castells is the metallics are the copper and the gold metallics are very hard and not they don't come up with very much pigment sometimes. Depends upon the paper and even then sometimes it's like, no, nope, we just don't want to. definitely something that has to be built up and constantly gone over but it's just so hard that it just kills the tooth of the paper really quick might get my Derwent soap for this part although it's just the one part so I'm not too concerned about it if I don't like it I'll go over it with black and just do that area black. Yeah, it should. It should let you change it to English. You do that in the uh, drop down arrow. Um, I don't remember exactly how to do it. I might have to go to her videos and walk you through it. I can if you want me to. However, that will stop me from coloring. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Welcome. All right, so I'm going to take the black now. And I'm going to do the little bolts here. And then we're going to take our gold combination again uh, with the green gold. <laughs> yes, actually, sooner or later you do start learning it. My son took German in high school, so there's a few different phrases that I fully understand with having to talk to his German teacher. Not many, mind you, but there is a few. All right, now we're going to take our gray and our black. And we're going to put in our light area. This is where the light is going to hit this cuff on his sleeve. darken this to a nice dark black here on his sleeve.
Hi, Duart. Hi, Dee. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Christina. Welcome, everybody. Getting that nice and dark there. Just working with the black and the Payne's gray at this point for the cuff. The Payne's gray I've put down so that I can get that. area that the light's hitting to show. Absolutely. Oh dear. Okay. Um, I'll finish up the black areas here, the belt, as well as the other cuff here. And I'll go over to Yvonne's channel and walk you through it. Because it's a lot easier to walk you through it verbally than typing. And that's pretty much how my channel started. <laughs> I was trying to explain somebody, to somebody how to do something and it was just so much easier to do it in verbalization. I am using polychromos, yes. I am using Faber-Castell polychromos. Thank you, Jennifer. gray area so that we have something to build into. Oh, you're on your phone. Um, ooh. Yeah, that's possible. I don't typically use my cell phone for watching videos. Uh, if you're doing it from a computer, I can easily walk you through it. If you're doing it from a phone or a tablet, it might be a little more difficult. All of those things have a different um, app and the apps are not the same. Like all of the controls for the app are not the same, which I have found out. I did not know this. <laughs> I have found that out.
but I will grab my phone here and take a look at it because I haven't I don't use my phone for that sort of thing so I really it's it's going to be a learning experience for me too <laughs> oh no I am so sorry about that, Christina. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Food poisoning is horrible. Yeah, I don't... I, I prefer to use my computer for most things, so... when I got to, when I my stomach started going bad uh, it was due to food poisoning so food poisoning is not fun at all I hope you feel better I hope coloring helped there we go Alright, and then we're going to do the gold down here. The bottom of his pants. And down the strings to the tassels. Oh, no, I mine wasn't from string cheese. I have no idea what I ate. The doctor just told me that I had food poisoning at some point that caused some damage. Made, me, made my illness become what it is today. I have no idea what I ate. <laughs> Could have been could have been lots of different things. Because before I got sick, I would eat everything. I like things. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Not good. All right. And we're just going to do this last bit before I forget to do it. And he ends up with no belt buckle. And then we'll take a look at the cell phone and see if we can figure out how to turn that on. If you guys want me to. Yes, the highlight of food coloring, food poisoning is coloring. Isn't that why it's called food coloring? <laughs> Oh, yeah, twice. Not so good. Yep, yep. Okay. Oh, let's see if we can look this up on the cell phone.
where are you? There you are. All right, so. I'm just trying to take a look here. <laughs> huh. Let's see. See, I even have the bell rung. Yeah, see, the bell is rung. <laughs> we'll hit the like button just because. Um... I do not know how to do this on on the cell phone. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm useless this, with cell phones. I'm just really bad. <laughs> Maybe Bob does. Bob, do you know how to turn on the uh, auto translate on the cell phone? on a video. My poor husband, he pops in to say hello on his way home from work and I put him to work. Isn't that nice of me? So I'm just going to take the Derwent blender stick here and I'm just going to burnish this a little bit and get rid of some of that white spot. Hey there, Pamela. I can do it from the computer right away. As soon as it is uploaded, I can do it from the computer usually. Like when it finally gives me notification, I can go to it and view it and have the captions come up. But like I said, I don't usually do that sort of stuff from my phone, so I don't know. <laughs> well, you see, there we go. I'm just meant to be there while you color, my dear. So basically what I'm just doing at this point is I'm just burnishing the page, getting rid of that white spot. Because being a painted object, it's not going to have that white spot like clothing would. So I'm just eliminating the white spot. I could have done that with a colored pencil, but I don't want to add any more color. And I don't want to take any color away. So I'm just going to dust that off. It's at the color saturation that I want it to be at, but I don't want it to, I don't want it to look grainy, if that makes sense. <laughs> No tech support while driving? No. No tech support not allowed when driving. You'll have to wait till it gets home. I 
I only enable a little bit. I only did like three or four enablements this time. <laughs> You're going to follow my enabling instructions. You need to, you know. Yeah, it just, it eliminates some of that white spot, gives you that nice smooth look, especially if you are not one that likes white spot. And I will, I will give credit where credit is due. Shannon has taught me that not all white spot is bad. I used to think all white spot was horrible. <laughs> Absolutely, I need him. He's not allowed. He's not allowed to get into an accident. So I'm going over the socks here with the Payne's gray. I w thought it was the black, but it's not. It's the Payne's gray. So I'm just going to lighten my grip on it a little bit, and we'll work over top of it with the black. I've decided these are socks, just so you know. I was going to color them as legs, but then they I saw the tassels on them, so I decided they are socks, or part of his boots, one or the other. Not that they had black socks back then, but you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're right. We did, didn't we? I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about doing that with pennies. That takes me back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now I know what to tell people. Pennies are good for. <laughs> no problem at all. Now, whenever somebody says, uh, why don't we just get rid of pennies? They're not useful for anything. Like, yeah, you try to blend without one. <laughs> You try burnishing a page without one. Without a burnisher stick. Alright. There, I just did it without a penny. Ha ha, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. Used to be able to rub a penny on it. It would do the same thing. I haven't done it in a very long time, obviously, because I completely forgot about doing that.
All right, going to do his shoes. I'm going to put the gold buckles on it. And then we're going to move up to his his head here. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, know if pennies would work anymore. I don't think they have the same weight as they used to. I haven't, any, I haven't even had change in so long. I don't know. <laughs> My husband puts it all in a bucket and then takes it all in to the grocery store. I never touch this stuff. <laughs> oh, I will too. How to blend with a penny. But you know, we don't blend, we layer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, they already thought I lost my mind, so it's all good. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, your husband has a bucket full of them. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what you just heard. That's for sure. You don't, yeah, I don't like the Prisma ones. See, there you guys go. Pamela has saved us some money. Instead of buying the, the $10.99 or $15.99 Caran Dash blenders, we'll just use pennies. Gives whole meaning to a penny for your thoughts. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Welcome back, Terry Lynn. I hope dinner is good. Fantastic, Yvonne. Fantastic. See, you'll get up to a hundred, I promise. Alrighty. 
Ada. <laughs> Love you too. Uh, VOI is um, subscribers. She, uh, she's German, so it comes. It's a different listing there. I do believe you can ask her, but I'm pretty sure that's what it means. <laughs> no, your first big number was one, and that was me. <laughs> I'm just putting in the gray for the highlight so that when I go over it with the black it'll stand out. Awesome! Thank you very much Wickham. I really appreciate it. I know Yvonne does too but I really do too because she's just wonderful and deserves it. She deserves all the love. Actually all my YouTube friends deserve all the love. I love all my YouTube friends. I must say I am pretty pretty impressed with these subscribers and the community that I have found uh, with with the ones that I watch and that watch me you're all so wonderful and so supportive I've had a few that aren't very supportive but they don't watch me regularly obviously so the ones that do are really supportive and I thank you all very much for that okay so we're just putting the final touches on his shoes here um, oh we've still got about 20 minutes left so we might get another one all done Slowly getting these nutcrackers all done. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to move up to the creepy part now. Oh, there's some people out there that don't think I'm awesome, so. I don't know what what rock they crawled out from under, but, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to toot my own, to own horn, but, you know. I'm just teasing. Everybody has their preference. Everybody has the, you know, has their own thing and all the power to them. Until they start being nasty. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. 
Yeah, there there is a part of the community that is not very nice at all. And um, I've been dealing with them lately too, Pamela. So, you know. That's just that's just crazy. Just do what do what you enjoy doing. I did not know you had a channel. If you uh, send me a private message on Facebook, let's see. Do I have any moderators in here? I don't think I do. Because Bob's standing behind me, so he can't moderate me either. Um. Yeah. Send me a private message on. Um, Facebook or in the email of your uh, YouTube channel and I'll put it into the Nightbot. I didn't realize you had a channel. Yeah. It's your channel. You do what you want on it. <laughs> Hi Alex. Um Pamela. <laughs> I am a logger's daughter. <laughs> just just so you know know what I'm saying here. I am a logger's daughter. When I when I'm not on YouTube, there there's a few things that fly out of my mouth that aren't very ladylike. <laughs> oh yes, I know cussing. I, 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 I'm a logger's daughter and a Scottish logger's daughter, daughter and Canadian. You know, <laughs> so let's. So I know how to cuss politely. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. No, it's your channel. If you want to cuss, cuss. And sometimes it's just more fun to do it that way. <laughs> as long as you don't do it to be mean. You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I I was I was born and raised in a logging camp. <laughs> Type of situation. All right, so now we're going to go on to his painted skin tones. <laughs> oh well, get out of it. If they're mad, then they ain't your friend, fans, are they? It's, I don't know why people just can't accept people for who they are and what they do. You know. There's so much toxicity in the world. And we, we do what we do to get rid of the toxicity. Alright, enjoy your tea. <laughs> Thank you, Pamela. I appreciate it. I just don't understand the toxicity in the world. We we color so that we're not toxic. And some people just want to be toxic and say mean things and mean ways and it's just not fun. <laughs> Jennifer, that's awesome. <laughs> Scare your dog with your snorts. That's funny. <laughs> oh, my. Don't make me laugh so hard I cry. Because uh, then I can't see <laughs> what I'm doing. Let's 
that and I have very little bladder control so please don't make me laugh too hard <laughs> I'm old come on So I'm going back and forth between, I didn't even tell you what colors I'm using, going back and forth between cinnamon and light flesh. So 132 and, oh I can't even see what that number is, 189. My eyes are teared up, I can't even see straight. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'll wipe my eyes. Yeah, and and that's, you know, I've I've explained it to some people because I've been in that situation with a different channel. Uh there's two different areas of our our coloring communities. And one area is what I have dubbed the uh, drama tube and it's where it's just drama that they thrive on drama their thumbnails are drama everything that they produce is either insulting somebody else or you know drama in their own life and I just don't have any time for it I really don't you know if you want to be toxic like that and, and just do nothing but spew toxicity then you're not going to uh, be one that I watch you know and there's a huge part of the community that thrives on it and that's perfectly fine if that's what they enjoy but there's no need to be that way to somebody that isn't a part of that that doesn't want to be a part of that if that makes sense and I just don't want to be a part of that you know I don't want my members to have to deal with uh, people making nasty comments because they don't agree with something I said you know then they get mad at me for taking them down it's like well you put it up and you made a, a comment that was not a fair rebuttal to what I said so Hi, Anne. I'm not quite sure what that means. Yeah, exactly, Terry Lynn. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's horrible, Christina. It's like, why would you even, yeah. Well, that's good, D. And that's exactly it. Is the community that is um that I I enjoy is the community that that we're in that that is helpful and hi Catherine <laughs> thank you so much can we get an exclamation point awesome in chat for uh, Catherine Thank you so much for being a phenomenal part of my community and my channel. I appreciate you. Yeah, D, they're not very nice channels and and you know, some of them are are could be very helpful if they didn't have the toxicity, but some are just not good.
All right, so let's do some gray in his beard and um, actually let's do his hair brown. What do you think? Should we do him gray or brown? They're usually white, aren't they? I only have one. <laughs> And he has a weird, it, it's funny, on, on the one Nutcracker I have, he has white hair, a white beard, and a black mustache. <laughs> it drives me crazy. It's so wrong. So we'll, we'll, do him, we'll do him with the white, just because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> but we're going to do him all white. It is a little cold out there. So the color I'm using is Warm Gray 3. And the reason why I'm using the Warm Gray 3 is because I want it to have a little bit of brown. So sort of like brown hair gone gray. Sorry about that. The train is... I don't know why the trains are so loud today. It's almost as if my window's open or something. I should actually check. I keep on getting this cold breeze on me. The window may be open. Which would be weird because that window is never opened. Uh, yes, I have. Actually, I just finished a tutorial on how to color snow uh, the past two, three Tuesdays. Two Tuesdays. Um, I had colored this one. i switch you over to the main ca camera because I just finished this one, uh, just finished doing the background of this one today on the channel. And I colored this throughout uh, work in progress two, um, two different Tuesdays, and I do believe a work in progress Wednesday as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, they do, don't they? That is very true, Wicca. So yeah, I was I have colored this one. Um, the past couple of days, a uh, couple of videos, a um, couple of Tuesday videos. The first Tuesday we did the snowman and the base, and the second Tuesday I did the background and showed how to do the background, and then today we did the the sky, and I did a live playing with it as well. And I've done a couple of other um, how to color snow on um, line art doing a snowman, which in one of my tutorials I have linked the video. In one of my Tips and Tricks Tuesdays, I did link the video to the, uh, to the snowman video as well. Most of these can be found on Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Yeah, I don't think the uh, live one is. I think the live one is come color snow with me. I think it was a sun, uh, Saturday color and chat. But I'm not positive. I I do them up and then I can I get so distracted with other things that are going on. I forget what I named things. So now I'm going through with a cold gray one. for his hair. And 
Now this one is on a gray scale, um, but like I said, I have done other ones on line art, on how to color the snow in line art. So. Oh dear. I guess it would help if I put you back on the close-up camera, huh? <laughs> there we go. Sorry, guys. I had it on the ex on the other camera here, my underneath the the close-up camera. Thank you very much for saying that. <laughs> I appreciate it, Wicca. Um. Go to bed, Yvonne. My goodness. Thank you. <laughs> you got to see all my blue sweater. Oh, he's, he's, uh, yes, I know your answer. I will as soon as you're done. Go to bed. <laughs> uh, she is a wolf Malamute. If you want to see her, she's wandering around. Hold on a sec, I'll tip the camera. Charla, she might be upside down. Shyla, come here. I'm turn off the light. Shyla, come. Shyla, come here. Come this way. Come say hello. Come. <laughs> She's being camera shy. Do you want a cookie? There we go. <laughs> Do you want a cookie? You want a cookie? Go see daddy. Well, go see daddy. She says, hey, wait a minute. You offered. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> I already gave you one today. <laughs> yeah, she's my baby. Yeah, she's about uh, just under, a, just over a hundred pounds, and she stands above my waist. And she's the runt of the litter. I'm just going through and putting in the darker areas here and then I'll finish the crown. Let's make sure I'm under where I need to be. So I'm using the green gold on the crown here which is giving it that bit of brown. Make sure I'm using the right color. Um, that br bit of brown color now this is a much larger area so I may go in with a bit of yellow in this center area here just to give it that golden color we'll see how much realty is left there after we get the shadowy areas done Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we, we own our house, so. And she was kind of um, not 
well, she was an accident that we ended up having her. Um, we went to the Humane Society uh, just for a day trip, just to hang out and play with the puppies. And uh, her litter was brought in, um, and the foster family came to get it, and she hid under the cot. So <laughs> when they when they left with the litter of puppies she came out from under the cot and uh, when they went to clean the little kennel that they were in and she come wandering out and they had nowhere for her to go so we brought her home and fostered her and then she uh, became very attached to me and uh, we've had her ever since I just couldn't give her back at that point it's like nope she's mine <laughs> There are some days, though. <laughs> yes, they are the best out of the litter. However, there are some days where I think seriously about giving her back. <laughs> Those are just usually really bad days. We all have them, including our animals. We just have little bad days. But she's getting old now, so. So I'm just layering the uh, metallic gold on top of the green gold and giving it that metallic gold color. Yes, she adopted me. That's right. I think she adopted me when I was sitting there going, Oh, she's so cute! And when she hid underneath the thing, she knew darn well that if I was still in the building, she was going home with me. Bob wasn't sure if, if we wanted a dog yet. We didn't even have a fenced-in backyard yet. <laughs> the poor dog. She had to be on a lead in the backyard until the fence was up. We had just bought the house. Probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have taken me to the Humane Society. <laughs> it may not have been, been the best option of a day trip. <laughs> But we love her. She's our baby. Now I'm just going to go the opposite direction because in these larger areas with metallics you can end up with all different little lines and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! Yeah, yeah, it's things like that, isn't it, D? Mine decided that she, um, she was going to steal the uh, freshly cooked roast that was on the counter trying to uh, rest before I could cut it. And she took the whole darn roast, the whole thing, out the door. By the time I got to her, it was gone. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. I think rescue dogs are, are the best option. You know, sometimes I think about, you know, kennel dogs and whatnot. Um breeder dogs and you know I, I just not sure if if they're the best option sometimes just saving a dog's life is 
is better than purchasing a dog. Yeah, absolutely, Wicca. I'm sorry to hear about your baby. You hit that rainbow in the sky. <laughs> Me too. My, I have a little tiny, tiny yard. It's it's not much, but it's enough to have the dog I have. But I, I, I would like to have all of them, but I'm quite sure Bob would probably get mad at me. <laughs> one's enough, one's enough. And then, you know, you get attached to to the one. And my, my children have decided that uh, we need another dog because this one's starting to get older and she's going to pass on. And it's like, no, I think I'm done having animals at this point. I'm just not, not well enough or young enough to potty train another puppy. <laughs> Oh wow, five at one time? Yeah, no. Nope. Don't have the room for that. No, just just the one one is enough. And when she gets playful it's even <laughs> even scary. Because <laughs> she'll run around in circles. They they get the zoomies even at her age. At her age, they don't zoom as much, but they still get the zoomies. I don't know if Bob's watching or not. Sounds like he's watching wolf videos. Yeah, yeah, no, we got her when she was five weeks old. Um, she was brought in from a wild wolf mother that they had to put down. And, uh, yeah, she she was straight out of the den. She was a wild, a wild animal when we got her, so. So lots of training. Lots and lots of training. Hey, Ronnie. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, past potty and chewing. Exactly. Yeah, she went through her chewing phase and through her potty phase. She did okay with the potty thing until, um, except she would just suddenly stop and pee. Suddenly, out of, for no reason whatsoever. And I took her to the vet and I said, there's something wrong with her. I think she has a bladder infection. And sure enough, she had a bladder infection. She didn't know she had to pee. Poor little thing. She would always stop and tinkle and then she'd run outside like she was in trouble. And it's like, because I had taught her, you don't pee pee in the house. And sure enough, she ended up with a bladder infection couldn't understand why she was pottying in the house suddenly and it's like we got it fixed and she stopped tinkling tinkling and, except for when she gets over excited then she she wets herself and gets all embarrassed and goes outside <laughs> i am using the uh, faber castell polychromos Right now I am using green gold and the metallic gold. <laughs> Good night, Yvonne. Go to sleep. I will talk to you tomorrow. Get some good rest.
another um, person that uh, has a channel that is here with us tonight as well is um, Divisa. So if you want to visit her channel, she has all sorts of wonderful uh, tutorials on how to use the gel sticks for backgrounds and all sorts of things. She's also doing a uh, advent calendar right now, which is really kind of cool. Um, she's catching up. She's she's had a, a rough week, but she's catching up. So if you if you ever want to go over and take a look at her, she you know and spread the love over to her. Uh, I do believe that it is exclamation point divisa in the chat. All right, so there's our our nutcracker. I'm going to switch it over. Uh, divisa DJ's colorful escape. So there is our second nutcracker. Uh, move you in a little bit so you can see better. Yeah, she's the one that taught me how to use the, the gel sticks. So let's see, exclamation point. Uh, just hold on a sec, it should come up. We're just waiting for Nightbot to wake his butt up. There we go. Nightbot has given you it. So we've got this one almost all done. I'll do his wooden bits and we got this one all finished up and I'll finish his wood off as well. I haven't put the final varnish co color on there, the light color that creates that varnished look um, because I'm not quite sure if I want them all to be the same or I want them all to be a little different. Awesome Wicca, thank you. Uh, she is also one of my administration in the uh, Facebook group. So Divisa uh, in our admin um, for our Facebook group is DJ's Colorful Escape. So we got this one all finished up today. Uh, with the King Arts. So we finished the background. We finished all the rest of it throughout the week. So that is a check mark. Yay! On a picture done by Ruth Saunderson um, for our Artist of the Month. I have pinned her YouTube channel at the top of the screen. So if you want to learn how to color Ruth's work specifically, um, you know, go to her channel. She does have a YouTube channel and she does talk about how to color her work. So if you want to go to her channel, it is um, pinned up at the top of the, of the chat. And Ruth's is just a phenomenal artist not just an an illustrator but an ab absolutely phenomenal artist if you haven't seen her work go to her channel and take a look because it's just mind-boggling thank you so much for being here uh, so I will be finishing up some of this I will at least get his his little scepter uh, and the start of his pedestal finished and on Saturday we will hopefully choose a new picture or finish this one thank you very much sassy I appreciate that all right guys until next time of course 
thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. That is the absolutely best way to support the channel. Um, if you want to join the memberships, just hit that join button down below. That's uh, one way to financially support the channel. Um, there is different tiers of membership. Of course, you are welcome to join any of them or nothing, none of them. Uh, that is completely up to you. <laughs> you are a good colorist, Wicca. Um, you know, otherwise, always remember to uh, bring your friends, hang out, and have fun. And don't ever forget to relax, color, and stay safe. Thank you all so much for joining me and for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. I love you all. Bye-bye for now.